Hi, uh, I'm Scott Carpenter, I'm engineer here with Brindley Hardy, where we make a few different uh, ground engaging implements. Right here we have the disc haro. Um, and these implements require a different hitch system than your typical mower where you're gonna be dropping in like a half inch hitch pin. Because on a ground engaging implement, you do need to lift the implement out of the ground when you are turning the mower or just not intending to use it. Um, we just plowed uh, some furrows, doing some testing here with a new product. Uh, whenever we're done plowing a furrow, we have to lift the plow out of the ground so we can turn and not swing that through the dirt. And in order to do that, you will need to have one of two options here. We're gonna look at the sleeve hitch, which is mounted to a lawn tractor. What this does is this allows the operator of the mower to, using the hydraulics in the mower, to lift the implement out of the ground when you are done uh, running your furrow or you know uh, cultivating a line. So you can actually turn, line up on your next run and go down it. So it's actually meant to come um, to, you can install it and uninstall it real quickly. Uh, once you've bought this, um, this is the John Deere um, sleeve hitch kit. Model number flashes here on the screen. Um, once you have it installed, there is a, uh, a bar that attaches up to the hydraulic system. It's now to remove the whole sleeve hitch in case we're not wanting to use it. Just pop off this thumb screw, connecting the, this is the, the hydraulic actuation bar. This is what actually raises and lowers the whole thing. I pop out my hitch pin. Then I just uh, lift the unit up and remove it from the tractor. So you see these two bolts on the rear of the mower. These are sometimes called the Frankenstein bolts because they kind of look like the bolts that stick out of Frankenstein's neck. But um, the sleeve hitch hooks into these and sits down right on top of the hitch plate. Okay, to reattach the sleeve hitch, first we're gonna take this extension bar uh, and run it through the two um, pins in the actuation bar. The actuation bar is what connects the hydraulic system of your tractor to the sleeve hitch. So that's actually where you're getting your power. Um, somewhere on your mower, there will be a, a lever or a button to press to engage the hydraulic system. And that's what you will use to lift the implement out of the ground into transport mode. The ex extension um, is just gonna connect that actuation bar to the actual hitch mechanism. I'm gonna put in this thumb screw just to kind of lock those together. Oh yeah. Then here's those <clears throat> using these, I'm going to set these hooks down under the quote unquote Frankenstein bolts. And let this plate rest on the hitch plate and then put a hitch pin between the two. And there you go. We're ready to pin in our um, ground engaging implement to the sleeve hitch. Here at Brindley, we're also introducing the one point lift system. And this is effectively a sleeve hitch to adapt to a two inch receiver. So um, we have a standard UTV here with a two inch receiver and we show our new one point lift system connected to the cultivator. This allows the operator to lift uh, a ground engaging implement out of the ground, similar to the sleeve hitch system by turning this crank handle or um, using our torque wrench adapter, which let's see. This allows an operator to use a three inch or three quarter inch socket and connect that to our lift screw, allowing the operator to use a torque wrench to lift the ground engaging implement out of the ground. The one point lift system pins into a two inch hitch receiver using a standard five eighths pin, similar to the ground engaging implement itself. So first we can remove the implement And then pull the hitch pin to remove 
the one point lift system. So to reattach the one point lift system, we simply slide it into the two inch receiver, connect with our five eighths inch pin, And there you go. Toolless one pin system. Now we're ready, we're now ready to uh, pin on our ground engaging implement. Um, so check your ratings on your vehicle to uh, ensure that it's capable of pulling a ground engaging implement. But any two inch receiver, this is uh, designed to fit into any two inch receiver. So if you want to use Brindley's ground engaging equipment, um, you need to determine what type of vehicle you're going to be using to pull it. If you're using a tractor, you need to buy a uh, sleeve hitch that is designed to fit that tractor. If you're using a vehicle with a two inch hitch receiver, um, you can use the Brindley one point lift system, both um, which will match, which will fit up with any of our uh, ground engaging implements. Um, and our ground engaging implements are designed to fit up with any, any brand of sleeve hitch. Should we put in the phone number? If you have any questions, call Brindley Customer Service at the number below. And uh, thanks for watching.